Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve another puzzle. It's called the first cylinder.、Uh, I'm really excited about this one. It looks so simple from the outside.、Uh, it's it's just looks so cool.、Um, but before we start,、um, there was a comment、uh, asking where、uh, you can buy this kind of puzzles.、Uh, we will post a link at the description section and. Uh, if you're interested, you can go check it out.、Uh, we're not affiliated with any of the sellers,、uh, so you know it's just for、uh, to respond to that comment. And if people want something to do、uh, when you're at home,、uh, this is I think the puzzles are just so interesting.、Um, it's challenging, so it's、uh, it's good to have those.、Um, anyway, I have played with this puzzle for 15 minutes before we started the video.、Um, it's.、Um, It's designed by Will Will Strivels. Sorry if I'm not saying the name、uh, right. He's a very famous puzzle designer.、Um, you know, really, really. At least based on this puzzle, it's just amazing how it looks.、Um, so there was a little note that came with the puzzle.、Uh, it says the object of the puzzle is to open the cylinder. Sound is important when solving this puzzle. Okay, my hearing is not perfect, so I hope that's enough for this puzzle.、Um, uh, let's. So, so when I was playing with it,、um, you know, there are basically just you know, the, you notice it's a very clean design. There's a V at the top of the the, the cylinder, and that's、uh, the signature from the design of the designer. And there's a little hole at the bottom. And when you shake the puzzle, you hear some noise. So, you know, as the note indicates, that is the key. Okay, let's start. There are definitely some metal. Metal balls inside, more than one,、um, and you can rotate the top. Basically, you know, there's no resistance or anything. Nothing really happens. Okay, so when you press down the top, that's the sound. This is without pressing down. You shake it. So if you press down the top and shake it, the sound of the metal ball is. Pretty loud. As opposed to if you don't. So there may be some mechanism where if you press it down, the ball can move、uh, more freely. Do you hear the difference? Okay, that's really interesting. Maybe the goal is to go like place the top and about align this、um, at a certain position, and then press it down, make the ball move,、uh, and somehow uh, open、um, open the cylinder.
if you load the V at the top, um, it's really difficult to see even um, when I'm looking at the puzzle itself. So I'm not sure if I can capture it on camera. So it's, it's right there if you look at look into this little gap you see there's a little gap uh, a little uh, concave on the top below the V um, I don't know if this is technically cheating because you're not supposed to be picking inside it's that you're supposed to rely on the sound um, you can actually see it. Okay. Okay, so that's probably important. Um, I think this the gap um, has to go somewhere around uh, this circle, and we need to align it with something. Okay, this is what we do. Using these two points of reference and move this around and see what happens. There's definitely not much you can do. It's such a beautiful and simple puzzle, but at the same time, it's so difficult. Eesh. Sorry, I'm still trying to look inside and see if there is anything at the bottom. Um, Again, um, I'm not sure if this is allowed, but if you look inside the gap, um, there is a there is a little hole, um, a little carve out at the bottom as well, and it's like right um, opposite where the signature is. how I can show this to the camera but there is a ball at the bottom I can see it when I'm looking up from here um, okay so that's definitely where it's supposed to go so the ball is went inside into this hole through whatever um, the, the hole here we found so so basically here is the theory um, the ball can only move around somehow the, the alignment of the top and bottom um, it, it traps the ball so initially if you're not pressing down the ball cannot move but if you do the ball could there's definitely more than one ball inside by the way um, so our key our goal is to uh, align the top and the bottom so also move the ball somehow to the bottom near the hole and then let it go inside uh, into the uh, into the cylinder the the, 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 the the gap in here okay let's do that again there's more than one ball all to the bottom okay and go
I cannot tell because the, you can essentially you can only see one ball um, here, so I'm, it's difficult to tell whether the balls are um, if there are more balls inside. Okay, actually it sounds like there's more because initially when you shake it there was no sound, right? Because the balls cannot move and this definitely sounds like two balls are loose. frustrating because okay I, I can I think more balls are getting into the bottom but at the same time you don't know how many balls are there and whether keep doing the same thing is the right thing to do um, you still cannot open the cylinder uh, but let's just repeat okay balls are at the bottom they went to the bottom Press this and shake it went to the bottom and the hole is over there. Do this. Okay. Now that there are definitely more than two balls, you cannot tell. Um, okay. So when I press this Definitely, I heard at least there are two balls that went to the bottom. Otherwise, you wouldn't hear the clicking sound, right? to guess by looking at the bottom I'm not sure if you can see it now um, the balls inside this hole maybe there are two or three balls even Still at least two balls here. Maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm dropping more balls back. compared to just now. Uh, it just looks like the number of balls inside is not um, increasing. What did I say is the definition of insanity? Is keep doing the same thing and expect different outcome. That's definitely how I feel right now. Um, but I really think we're on the right track. I see one more ball in here, for sure. So alignment is right. What we did just now is good. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. Because there was kind of like a benchmark you can see inside. Um, it wasn't clear before, but now definitely there's one more ball inside. Okay. If you can see it. All right, let's just keep doing what we were doing just now. Drop the ball to the bottom. 
rotate and shoot. It actually sounds like just, there's just one ball inside now. Oh, why does it feel like there's more now? Maybe, maybe just because the ball keeps coming back. Um, it's weird. So this way, maybe we should do it this way so the ball doesn't go back from 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 the inside to to the outside, right? challenge that's why we're doing this otherwise you know why do you solve puzzles you know puzzles are puzzling okay oh you know what i really miss these days massages oh it'll be so amazing uh once this uh pandemic is over and go for a really long massage oh that would be amazing that would be amazing Sorry, um, I, <laughs> I forgot where I was. Um, okay, one, the ball, I think we still have two balls in a circle. We need to drop them into uh, this hole. And the alignment. Sorry, Will, I know this may be counted as cheating, but. repeat and not care about you know not peeking to the bottom maybe that's why it's messing things up because the balls are coming back into the circle because when I was looking um, it went back still inside Actually, three more balls. Oh wow! So there are five balls inside. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Stop the timer. Uh, half an hour. That's pretty good. Yay! Okay. So as we have seen, there is a. So there's a gap at the top um, and here at the bottom and it's right opposite where the signature is. So basically you rotate this to the bottom. So this is aligned, this is aligned and this is where the ball can drop into the middle, the middle part and come to the bottom. Um, why does the ball... Okay. So 
it's designed in a way that, you know, at this normal state, so the ball is supposed to move around here, and at this normal state, it's just kind of stuck, so the ball cannot move. But if you completely press it down, um, the bottom and the top aligns, so the ball has the full circle, so it can move around. Um, basically, the key was align this hole, let it go to the bottom, press this so the balls all fall to the bottom near the hole and you rotate this to this side and press the button and the ball would, the, this will align and then the ball drops inside okay okay wow this is such a such a cool puzzle yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are going to uh, you know, try to get more puzzle, interesting ones. I, I really, you know, I like this kind of puzzle where you cannot really see anything. Um, uh, it's uh, It really challenges your uh, logic and hearing. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I guess it, it, it would be more enjoyable for uh, whoever that's watching. Um, if you can actually see what's going on. I'm not sure if you can hear this as well as uh, I am just by playing with the puzzle uh, right here. Um, so through the camera, maybe it's kind of challenging to hear everything, um, but this is definitely really, really cool. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, take care and stay safe.